Welcome everybody to beautiful Puerto Vallarta. Today we will be going on a city tour excursion and Canopy El Eden where the original Predator movie was filmed. There you can find zip lines and a nice river. Stay tuned until the end to tell you what we think and some recommendations. We are on a bus tour to Eden. Eden. Let's see how it is. For the school tour, we will be going inside the windowsless bus. The tour costs us around 200 pesos for the both of us, or around 12 dollars. The tour consists in taking us to four different stores where you can get small samples, drinks, and a short presentation, and then on to the main event, Canopy El Eden. We purchased this trip as a package deal when we were planning to travel to Yelapa. So if that's something that you're interested in, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss it. Our first stop is a souvenir store where you will be given some small samples of traditional Mexican candy and some short time to shop. Our second stop is for taking pictures at the Malecon where they have some Christmas decorations and the beautiful Bahia de Banderas in the background. Here you will also find the famous Puerto Vallarta letters. This stop was around 15 to 20 minutes long. Our next stop was the Silver and Gold Factory. This is where they make authentic Mexican jewelry with silver and precious rocks mined here in Mexico. Every purchase comes with a receipt of authenticity saying that it was made here and from here in Mexico. After a short drive south the romantic zone, you have one of the best beaches in the whole Bahia de Banderas, Miss Molaya Beach. Here they will stop for around 20 minutes for everyone to snap a picture. Look at the beautiful views. The last stop before we go to the main event, Canopy El Eden, is some artisan tequila tasting. Here we wanted to record a little more, but the tequila and the presentation was so good that we forgot. Either way, you can buy tequila here starting around 800 pesos to 1700 pesos. I think this was the best part of the whole trip. Now we go to the hardcore world.
is where the movie The Predator, the original Predator, was filmed um, uh, 40 years ago, 1986, almost 40 years ago. So this is the original location where Arnold Schwarzenegger and we are in the middle of the jungle here. I guess they added the zip lines and look at that. The nice waterfall river here. It looks beautiful. Yeah. You're in the middle of a jungle, baby. Welcome to the jungle. So the bar is going to take you to the Eden spot, to the Eden tour, I guess it's called. When you're getting dropped off there, they're giving you uh, from 1.30 till 3. So basically you have like an hour and a half to be here from what we have an experience. Maybe there is different tours and different times. And uh, the first thing you're going to do, you're going to take a picture with a predator. Predator, yeah, right? The predator. It's a live guy. He's going to move, so... I didn't see he was moving in the beginning. <laughs> yeah, he's, when we took a picture, he started moving. I was like, whoa, you're moving. We thought that it's like a mannequin, like a doll or something. And after that, they're going to take you to the restaurant. And over there, you're going to have a small presentation that they explain you what combination of food they have. Mostly it's for two people. Probably three people can share it. The price is run... Like, from the 300s to the 1200 yeah but usually the share price was from what they explained it, it was 1100 pesos and they're giving you a combination of different type of foods and basically you can choose either to sit there and have the food and the drinks or you can just start exploring the area like we did you have your free trail that you can walk around you also have your zip lines that does cost you money so the, for the zip line, if you didn't come here with a tour, it says fourteen hundred per person. It's only a cash. Or if we came here with a tour, they were selling for eight hundred per person. And they said it takes about uh, one hour to complete, and it's multiple zip lines that they will be taking you. So yeah, it looks pretty nice here. Like I mean, it's not really really high, but. It's beautiful and it's a lot of trees around. So if you have the opportunity to do the zip line and you have this money to invest, that's good for you. And only cash, remember? Yeah, you Yeah, you got to bring here cash cuz in this place where are the restaurants and the zip line, everything is cash only. They don't take credit cards. That's another thing they're going to tell you in the tour. They will stop you in a few places before they're going to bring you here and they're going to tell you you have an ATM here, just take a cash for you. Right now we are walking and the free trails that you get here. You don't need to pay for those trails. Besides that, everything here in this Eden tour costs money. So you choose what you prefer to do. Sounds like somebody doing a zip line. We heard some screams. Let's go and hope to see them.
and that is the end of the city tour and honestly if you can get it for the good price like we did it's actually a nice way to spend the day and learn a little bit about Puerto Vallarta. The tour is about 6 hours long so make sure to get some breakfast and bring food if you're not planning to eat at the restaurant. After we finished a tour of Canopy Elite and walked outside, we saw a different park right next to ours and we decided to investigate a little more for you guys. The park's name is Eden Va and it was now offered to us by a salesman and what a shame because this place looks much nicer than Canopy Elite. It's pretty much the same idea as Canopy Elite but with more stuff and nicer looking too. It had music, hammocks on the water, the zip lines were cheaper without a tour guide at 900 pesos per person and had zip lines with longer options as well. And let's not forget, they had a tequila tasting right inside the park. Now, the only thing is that we're not sure if this is part of any city tour in Puerto Vallarta, so this might be a place where you have to get it here by yourself, either by taxi or driving. Now one good tip for saving money here in Puerto Vallarta and in Mexico in general is to go in and just ask for pricing at different locations to make sure you are not getting the tourist pricing. You can always get better pricing by stopping in two to three places. There are so many people in Puerto Vallarta walking to you trying to sell you things or trips and the prices will always be much higher if you just go with the first offer. Now I hope you liked today's video, if you do please smash the like button and subscribe so you don't miss any of our future adventures in Mexico and please let us know in the comments what places you would like to see us next. Thank you, see you next time.